Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Emily Jane. Look, we have fire. The log burner is fully installed. Um, my dad, uh, bless him, spent a couple of days down here fitting it for me, which was really nice. And it's all good to go and roaring away, which is really nice, really warm. I'm gonna flip you around, um, show you the log burner, but then I've got some footage of the installation as well. So I thought I'd show that to you today. Okay, so here it is. It's a four kilowatt burner, so very, very small. The smallest that was um, possible to get um, at the place that we went to, um, which is about perfect for this size tiny house. Um, it's got a single flue coming out of it into a insulated flue going through the wall um, at a 135 degree angle. And then obviously we've got another 135 on the outside up to the top. Um, it sat on a stone hearth, um, so we went and selected the stones, chopped them up into position, and they're just placed there just to protect the floor, just so that it's nice and safe. Um, and then behind the burner, we have a couple of sheets of calcium silicate, which is a heat resistant, fire resistant um, kind of board to protect the walls. Uh, this is what they often put in kind of long boats um, just because you can't really use fire bricks in a small space because they take up a lot more room. But they're separated, as you can see, from the wall by these little um, batons um, just to bring them away um, and give a little bit of extra space between the calcium silicate and the wall. Um, in the long run, we're going to tile the panelling behind it because it's a little it's it's gray but it's kind of a bluey gray and i'm i'm into warmer tones so we'll probably get some tiling going on behind it um but yeah that's that is the the log burner the fireplace is so sweet um as you can see i've managed to get it going this morning which is great anyway um as i said we did this over two days um and i've got some footage of that now so enjoy Mm. This is a really boring bit. I'm sorry. Just a hole in my wall now. <laughs>
piece free. Okay. Take the piece out. I'm going to push it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Proper hole in my wall. 54 and a half, so that means 57. So uh, I'll just keep keep measuring it, keep checking it. That should be 39, that's right. That should be 39, that's right. This is going to be the lower end, is it? Yeah. It will be filled with. Mm, you get the pretty end stuff. at the top. Makes sense. You enjoying the day, Freddie? Yeah. Good boy. How did your solo go then? Made it through. Mm. Yeah. And it's off. Hopefully it fits. Good that, that twists in and tightens up. That looks good. Right, is there enough space outside? Is the question. I don't know. That actually that looks kind of really maybe nice. looks reasonably okay. I like it a lot. This is a bit tall, isn't it? It's very tall. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely tether it with some wire and fix it to the framework. We'll see if we can find where there's a good solid bit of wood. Yep. Okay, this one's tight. Uh, just ease it off a little bit. And a bit more. Ouch. Hey. <laughs> this is designed for fences and it's it'll last a while. Let's call that one. That's good. And we've jumped down there. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Mm. You don't want to squish it. It's like a sponge, isn't it? That's it. 